Good evening, all amigos. This is Carlos Montero in front of the beautiful Khalifa Stadium where they just play Netherlands against USA. We are here in from the field, a half an hour show about this beautiful football game about the World Cup 2022. Let's start with the headlines. And then there were 16. The knockout round has officially started. Win or go home. Messi's dream continues. Argentina will play for a ticket to the quarterfinals against Australia. Uruguay's victory wasn't enough. Suárez and Cavani played their last World Cup in the midst of a controversy. In Netherlands, uh, USA was the first match of the round of 16. Netherlands crushed the American dream. They beat them 3-1. USA now is going home, but we have to consider that it was a very young team. And to, for them to make to the round of 16 is absolutely something great. Netherlands, they keep going on. Yesterday was the last night, the last matches of the round. 32 teams yesterday, 16 went home. Let's see how it was yesterday. It was really a night full of emotion with a lot of surprises. Let's see. Cameroon is out of Qatar 2022, but they left with a smile on their face after historic 1-0 victory over Brazil. The Canarinha won all seven previous games against African teams at the World Cup. I mean, it's just a tough game. We gave, I mean, I feel like the team gave it their all. Um, Rochette had a great game. The guys left it all out there. It's a bit unlucky with some of the calls. Uh, but, you know, what can we do? It's just the whole country we had high hopes. And, you know, at the end of the day, Korea scored a last-minute goal. Congrats to them. But we go home. That's the sad part. That's football, and that's why it's a the, the beautiful, the beautiful game. I don't know. We didn't play good in the first two matches, so we couldn't do much in the last one. Very sad. <laughs> Uruguay won their final match against Ghana, but were sent home on a goal difference when South Korea beat Portugal. Ghana lost to Uruguay did not stop them from making memes on social media of Luis Suarez, who kicked them out of South Africa by blocking a goal with his hand. I, I really am appreciating my my my, uh, my players, Son, Juan, and everybody. Just everybody. We made miracle tonight. Thank you. Southern Korea took Jungkook, Son. We are all dreamers to heart. And after qualifying to the round of 16, they have begun to dream high. From now on, you win or go home. It was not a good uh, World Cup for Conmebol. There are only two national teams that make it to the round of 16. Argentina, who's playing tonight against Australia, and Brazil, who is going to play against South Korea. Last night, Brazil played. They decided to play with Cameroon, a game that it wasn't really important. 
for them because they were already qualified and they use substitute and bad news for them because two of those players, Gabriel Jesus and Alex Tellies, they are not going to be to able because they got hurt last night and they are not going to make it to the round of 16. They cannot play. But Brazil is doing a great World Cup. Neymar also was hurt and is going to come back hopefully against South Korea. But let's see how Brazil, the only second team from Comebol who make it to the round of 16, how he make it here. Brazil will face South Korea in the round of 16 after winning the group despite the defeat to Cameroon and the injuries of Neymar, Danilo, Alexandro, Gabriel Jesus and Alex Tellez. The last two will miss the rest of the tournament. Still, Brazil is in a strong candidate to win the championship and become the world's top World Cup winner. The last time Brazil lost in the group stage was in France in 1998 against Norway 1-2. The hope for bringing the cup to the American continent is at the feet of the footballers of Brazil and Argentina, two of the favorites to win. I think because we will be playing with substitutes, it will be more difficult. I think Brazil is good for the run of 16 and we will do well in this cup. I used to say that soccer explains Brazil, and I think that bringing the Campeonato to the Brazilian people is very important for our optimism, to believe again that Brazil can be the country of the future. Some years ago, Brazil was the most optimistic country in the world. We went through a coup with Bolsonaro, destruction of labor rights, social rights, and the people were very crestfallen. So the Campeonato is very important to recover optimism and improve the self-esteem of our people. Mexico is going to make history tonight when Argentina play Australia. Why he's making history? Charlie's going to tell us why in the five stories you must know today. Messi will play his game number 1000 of his career in tonight's round of 16 game against Australia. He has played 778 games with Barcelona, 53 with PSG, and 168 with the Argentine national team. There are five players who are tied for top goal scorer in Qatar 2022 World Cup. Alvaro Morata from Spain, Ener Valencia from Ecuador, Kylian Mbappé from France, Koli Gagpo from the Netherlands, and Marcus Rashford from England have all scored three goals. Shakiri becomes one of three players who have scored in the last three World Cups. The other two players are none other than Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. This has been Comebol's worst World Cup in the last 20 years. In Qatar 2022, only two teams from South America, Argentina and Brazil, has moved on to the round of 16. This hasn't happened since the 2002 World Cup held in South Korea and Japan. China is the biggest sponsor of the Qatar 22 World Cup. They are even ahead of USA and Qatar, and are the country who contributes. They are even ahead of USA and Qatar, and are the country who contributes the most amount of money to the organization. Of the 32 teams that started the World Cup right now, there are only 16. But let's go over the first part of this. Beautiful tournament. Let's see who are the top goal scorers, the top defenders, and so on. Football is all about goals, and the top scorers of the World Cup are tied with three. Alvaro Morata of Spain, Cody Gatpo of the Netherlands, Marcus Rashford of England, Kylian Mbappé of France, and Ener Valencia of Ecuador. Only the South American was eliminated. In this way, all the leaders have the opportunity to fight each other for the golden boot of the tournament. About the assists, Harry Kane from England has three. In this department, he is the leader. Followed by Bruno Fernandes from Portugal, Davi Klassen from the Netherlands, Ivan Perisic from Croatia, Jordi Alba from Spain, and Theo Hernandez from France. All of them has two passes to the goal in the tournament and all are in the round of 16. A curious tip about this World Cup is that only two players saw the red card, Wayne Hennessy from Wales and Vincent Abubakar from Cameroon. Both players are eliminated already.
Can you hear the USA fans? They are celebrating, the team's going home, but for them to make it to the round of 16 is something very important for this young team who has a lot of possibilities in the next World Cup that's going to be in the USA, Canada and Mexico. Let's go now to the trivia of the day. We want to know how much you know about football. The question of today is which team won the World Cup after losing the first game? You can answer us on social media and we are going to give you the right answer at the end of the show. Twitter at From the Field. We are very active. We are tweeting a lot. and We are getting bigger and stronger. Let's do a short break. And also you can follow me on Twitter and see Montero Oficial. I tweet in Spanish mostly, but I do some English too. We'll be right back. This is From the Field here from the Khalifa Stadium.